Okay, here's the question I got for you. And this is a scenario. SHTF is happening worldwide. Let's say it's a uh, virus outbreak. Wide number of people slowly die off. Some of them does die from the virus outbreak, but others die due to uh, sickness, uh, physical sickness, you know, ailments, old age, or starvation, or freezing, or dehydration, whatever reason is. So now the population has deteriorated. And then there's this, you're in this community now. So, and they've decided here that for uh, every one woman, you had to have four husbands. So here's your dilemma here. Because, uh, let's just face it, men tend to think more along a certain area. For some reason or another, if a man's 150, he still wants to try to play house. He still wants to do the whoopee thing. So, you're in this dilemma. You've joined this community here as a woman. And they said, well, this is how it's going to be. You have to have four husbands. And you have to take care of the needs of these four men. And you were thinking, okay, I don't know about this. So you tell them, says, do I have a choice on the four men that I choose? And one group says, yes, you do. They can court you. And you can decide the four men you want as your husband. Then this other group says, no, we decide who your husband is going to be. So you're in this dilemma. You really don't want four husbands. You do good to take care of one. But they've created this community by doing this. It's like the, the Mormon community created for one man with all of these other wives. The younger women are already having children. They're having a child every year, pretty much. The understanding is that all four men are the fathers to the babies. Because they don't know which one is really truly the father. So, they are all the father to these children. They take care of them. And they call them Daddy John, Daddy David, Daddy Mike, Daddy Fred. Because they really don't know which one for certain is there. Of course, you know. Now, that's one, one Sarah now. Now, one of them turns around. They do this, uh, decide who's going to be have a child. So, she picks out that man. And during that time period there, it's just for that man for that three months until she becomes pregnant. So once she becomes pregnant, then she still has to take care of the needs of the other men after she becomes pregnant with this child. So here's the situation on it. She, you know, she has four husbands. She has a, she has to have a child every year. So here she is, 20 years later, she's got 20 children, uh, and her health is bad. She's deteriorating. She's had so many children, and it's not like going to the hospital. You know, you're having natural childbirth. So from the women's point of view, I'm asking the women out there, would you agree to join a community where you are required to have four husbands, and if you are above age to have children, and you are required to have a child a year, as long as you are in childbearing age, would you agree to this? Or would you would just rather have one man and one woman relationship and join a different group? that believes in the one-on-one -on -one sanctity of a relationship. So which would you choose? Would you be willing to do that? Would you be willing to have more than one husband? Because the men feel their needs to be taken care of. And they also say if you don't agree to this, women are going to be raped.
they're going to be attacked, they're going to be raped, there's going to be problems. So the women in this community either agrees to it or else. They don't have a choice. You know, you're going to take four husbands on or we're going to set you up in this little system where man just comes and visits you when they have their needs, needs to be taken care of. Like a basic whorehouse. You know, it, it, since the beginning of time, it's always been whorehouses set up everywhere. Everywhere has always been whorehouses set up. And the problem is a lot of it wasn't by choice. During uh, the time of the Jews' captors, they set up whorehouses for the women prisoners. These women didn't have a choice in it. And if they got bad reviews, they got beaten and murdered. Women are put in the white slave market, market around the world. They're sold off. They're put into this against their will. They have no choice in it. So this is what you're looking at from a woman's point of view. Do you want to be part of a community where they say, this is your choice? You're going to have to have four husbands. And if you're of childbearing age, you're going to have to have a child every year. And it's your choice how you want to do this. You can turn around and decide you want to have one man and make certain he's the father of the child. But as soon as you become pregnant, you're going to have to start taking care of the needs of the other men up until the time this child's born. There's no busting if saying you got to take care of their needs as well. Or you can just play house with all four of them and not ever know who the father is. But you've got to have a child every year. So basically you're pregnant nine months out of the year pretty much. Now this is going to take a toll on your body. So I'm asking you from the woman's point of view and even some of you men out there who will express their point of view on this. How do you feel about something like that? Now, I'm an older woman. I joined the community that says you're an older woman, but we have many older men here. And they need to be taken care of. So you can pick out the four you want, and they're going to court you. And I can say, well, but I don't want four men. I really don't want a husband. Well, you don't have a choice. You either take the four husbands or you leave. So you have this option. You're out there. You know, they might have rescued you from near starvation or whatever. You might be in a desert area. You might be in a freezing area or whatever. They put you in a situation where, you know, if they send you back out, they're telling you, I'm not sending you with no food or water. You're going to have to leave. So they're putting you in this bind. So what would you do? Would you agree to this? Or... Would you find a way to leave as soon as possible to get away? So, you know, you have these choices. Would you adapt to it? Would you agree to it? You know, men since the beginning of time was having more than one wife for years. Even the Old Testament talked about having more than one wife. Having these harems and all that. It's just a man thing. Having four husbands might be interesting. But the thing is, is that there's a lot to put on a woman to have to supply the needs of four men. To have to have a child every year because this is what this community says you're going to do. So this is your choice. Do you want to stay in this community? Or do you want to say, no, thank you. I will take my chance out there. Because I'm not going to live like this. This is no life at all. Because the truth is, in an SHTF situation worldwide, if it happened and the community is set up like this, most women die in childbirth. It is known facts that there has been so many men married multiple times, multiple times, over and over again. And they take young wives. Because a lot of these women die in childbirth. A lot of these women's body gives in to them because they're having one child after another. So that's my question out there. Would you agree to having four husbands? I can't have no more children, but I could play house. That'd be kind of interesting, be kind of fun. I'll admit that. But at the same time, 
I don't know if it would be too much fun either because you know what? One of those husbands could beat you. And maybe he beats on me. Another husband, maybe he's into some stuff that is not kosher. You know what I'm saying? You got one husband that's a good one. He's a good man, but he's a wimp. He has no backbone, so the others take advantage of it. You got another husband that, you know, you thought was a good man, but turn out he's not. He you he has uh taken and raped your children that you've had. He's not a good man. I mean he's using the excuse, well, you know, it's a different world now, it's a different world. But this is what choices you have. So that's what I'm asking. I'm asking you ladies, even even the men, in a community situation, and they turn around, they rescue you, and they say, this is the choice you have. You have to have four husbands or else. Or you can go right back out there and try to survive. Would you agree to it? Or would you turn right around and walk back out? This is Life Prepper, the world of Joan. I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all.